Hello and welcome to Red All Over with a bit of a special, a transfer special one as the January transfer window slams shut and all business has been done. Not too much on our front, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm joined by the regulars, Andy Simcox, Alan Smith and Jane Ogley. Um, well, Al, you can kick us off. What did you think of, what, what did you think of the window first o- overall before we go into individual players? Uh, not that good, is it? It shows his ambition, doesn't it, really? It, it, we needed a striker to come in because call is out and we, we're struggling to score goals. We've got two midfielders. In, in fact, we've signed his own B&Q, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> we've got Quinn and Bassett. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Quinn is from Fulham, isn't he? and he's not been getting game time, bless him. And uh, it's, I think he's fallen out with, with manager. At Watford as well, so I said he's not been trained into to standards, so that's something else that we don't know. Just 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 ESA and Bassa, what did we set other days? At 180 odd minutes, five games, so yeah, they're both improving yet again. It, it's it's spreadsheet uh, going mad again, isn't it? Oh look, stats, some running stats. We need players to come and be running straight away on the ground and, and to force us up league. And I don't think it, it's it's exceptional, is it? It's not exceptional. No, I think you're right there, to be honest. I think the signings have been somewhat underwhelming, would you say, Andy? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's absolutely no disrespect to the two lads that's come in, but they've not... They've not... Nope. Andy Strozen. <laughs> I played much. There you go. He's back. Oh, there. You're there. So no. My internet connection <laughs> is unstable. So I, was, I was talking away to myself like a good one. Uh, we've got Sal and Dandy for a change. Blackburn will be happy. Sal and Dandy. Go on, Andy. You are saying anyway. Am I there now? You're there. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, yeah. We're in. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, a, a bit underwhelming. I've got absolutely nothing against the two uh, the two players that are coming. From what from where I can see, they're attacking midfield players, which in some respects we've needed because we we haven't had any midfield players that have got beyond the striker or strikers to to make one in the you know to, in the box. So for that, I can understand that. But the, it, it's you know last minute. You know we've known we've known since very early on in this season that we've needed a leader at the back. Yeah. In the defence, we've definitely needed a leader in midfield. You can call it experience if you want, but it's a leader in midfield. An Alex Mowat type <clears throat> and a Sol Bauer type. That's what we've needed because we've we've been playing players in those positions that have not, not been able to do that. And it's told match after match after match. So for that, you know, that as Alan said, they've shown the colours. If if the if if neither the, the coach or the owners, the board, call it what you want, don't see that we need that, then it says everything about their intentions. Now, I, now I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and say that the that they've just thrown us a sprat, you know, to keep us happy. Some because, you know, these players might be good players, but they need to take the ground running, and I don't know if they will be able to. Yeah. Um, we, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But you know, we've we've let. In my personal opinion, we've let a striker go that we've not seen. So I don't mind that. I save a few quid. I don't mind that at all. You know, however much he's paying, you know, being paid for a week, which is, you know, a number of thousands. You know, I've seen figures banded around, but a number of th- so you know, if it's freed that up, that's fine. And I, you know, I can see, you know, I can see that he's not playing for us for whatever reason. I don't know if he's injured, not injured. I don't, I don't know what that's been all about for the last bit. So, you know, Alari going, it don't make a blind bit of difference to us. Um, I think losing Toby Sibic is a yeah. big, Toby Sibic is a big difference to us because it's only my opinion. But for me, if we're playing a back three with three centrals, it should have been one of them. Absolutely should have been one of them. Yeah. I don't know why it is. I, I, I don't know what's gone off behind the scenes. I have absolutely no idea. If we're playing a, a, a back four, for me, he should have been at right back, and uh, and and Callum Britton in front of him. You know that that that's my per that's my personal. Opinion. So I think that's weakened us. I think you know we 
we're playing right footers at left back. You know, we've tried a few players at left back, most lately Remy Vita, who's, who's done pretty well. But we let you know we've let Ben go, and you know Ben Williams. He, he, I'm not saying he's the best footballer in the world, but he put himself about and he didn't stop. He were left footed and he were a left back, and we've we've not you know we, we've not we've not replaced him. Yeah, if you can say if you say Remy Vita's a replacement for him, then. Why aren't Remy Vita playing before? You know, I, I, so so I think that's really weak. For me, the other bits of the transfer window is I don't, for the life of me, understand why Herbie Kane didn't come back. Because if our midfield were crying out for somebody who can put his foot on the ball and move it about nice and easy, I, I don't, I don't know. It, it just seems silly. We, we missed we missed a great trick, you know, all, all the way along the line because we could have signed we could have signed Ben Whiteman early on who'd have done the job in midfield for us, you know. He's been he's a player that we kept being linked for, and I don't know if it's if we put a bid in. It sounded like we put a bid in for him, and um, we weren't willing to pay that bit extra. Well, it's come to bite us, and, and it's bitten us um, because he, he would have added that bite in midfield, and of course we haven't got that, so. I just find it a crying shame. Oh, we aren't going to strike it. We got, we've got to hope now that that Morris comes back and keeps fit because we're really struggling until Corley comes back. We're struggling up front. You know, we've hardly scored a goal. You can say that's because we've not created much. And let's hope that the new lads in their own way can create something when they're on the pitch. But we, we you know, we created a few chances against Bournemouth. Didn't put them away. So. You know, it's, it, it just feels a bit... Um, it, feel, it, it, it feels as though we're a bit weaker. I, I, you know, we, we haven't got what we needed. And it's not the two lads. If we're going to get those two lads, that's fine. But we needed something else as well. And we haven't got it. So for me, it's a poor transfer window. And it has been from the first... And they've, and they've shown their intentions, which is... We, we're, not, we're, we're, not, we're not going to get a right go. I hope, we, I, I hope the lads do the best they can. But the board didn't get into right go, in my opinion, though. You know, we'll see. Well, that's that. He's wrapped it up. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's over. There's, well, there's uh, a transfer window. That's what we all think. That's it. We'll, yeah, uh, we'll, catch, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll catch you later in the week then. For we'll a catch you later on. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just put, put on some of, points, uh, some of Andy's points there, Jane. He alluded, yeah. well, he said that we've probably got a bit, a, a bit weaker in this transfer window. And I think we mentioned it the other night um, about... Lone players coming in and then taking places potentially of academy players. And I think it was Conway a couple of years ago said that we will not sign lone players to get in the way of development of our own players. We won't, I think, was what, what, what he said, I'm paraphrasing here, is that we won't develop other teams' players. That seems to, that seems as if we've changed that model a bit with two loan signings and two signings, which I think most fans would agree is. We needed midfielders, but we didn't need that yep. type of midfielder. Is what we've got. Yep. Where do you sit on all of this with this transfer window so far? Um, I find the transfer window underwhelming at best. Um, I don't know. See, I've, I set me ask to the two coming in though because they're coming into a, a very difficult side. You've got fans. You've got own, fans and owners who are in bat, like sort of battle with each other. But then you've also got fans who are underwhelmed and frustrated with the team. And then you've got your two newbies coming into that environment. So they're already coming in on, on a back foot, aren't they? They're already coming in on a loser. So they've got to prove the self. Um, for me, I just, I just don't know what to make of it. I don't understand the type of players we've gone for. We needed strikers and we needed, like Andy said, we needed somebody with a moment to word, a big gob on him. We needed somebody who went on a pitch and went, right, this is it. This is what I want. Well, you like a football, Jane. Well, I can. It's not a problem. That's it. I'm here. Um, somebody with a bit of a bit of mouth, a bit of a bit of something about him, uh, which we've not got that clear leader. We've not. We've not got that clear leader on the pitch. And these two guys are not going to be that. They're not going to fill that gap. So it's like, well, I don't understand then. So what they are for, like you said, is it to develop them? Yeah, it does seem, it seems a weird one with the fact that it's loan signings as well, that we're not going to have no tangible 
product yeah. from the end of the season. Unless, I mean, I'm not going write, to write them off immediately. If they go and score 25 goals between them and we stay up, a little bit best loan signings we've ever made. Do it yeah. like, as, and I'm pretty sure you we, we all agree. Best window we've ever had. Yeah, exactly yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that's what it'll be. Remember that. Domingo Quina, who, who's available if he's selected for tomorrow night or against Cardiff, isn't there? Because uh, I mean, Bass is waiting for his visa yet again. I mean, I mean, he might get that before the start of the season. Probably the last game at season uh, at West Brom, he might be available. Yeah. Oh. There'll be a cameo from in there, a nice 20 minutes on the last day of the season when we're already down and West Brom are already... Talking about experience, Jane, we need Jerry Taggart. Oh, Jerry, Jerry. It's, Jerry, it, Jerry. It's there, he'd sort him out and get him into shape, won't he? Well, Redders were in Stan, weren't he, on, um, on Saturday? I sat with Josh, I heard. Yeah, yeah. they were. <laughs> sat in West Stand, in the glorious yeah. West Stand, now it's reopened. Oh, I bet he will get in. Oh, I bet he tears his... Have he got any air? But he tears his air out. Mm, a little bit. Uh, so that bit he's got. Um, so we've more or less covered the in- incomings of uh, Domingo Scriana and a mine Basai. I'm going to go with that's probably incorrect, but we'll go with it. Um, so we've covered them. We'll, I'm going to focus more now on the out. Jordan got it right. Jordan, <laughs> no one. It didn't been like that. Jordan got it. Jordan is really certain. I think won't be able to go with this. He didn't know. He's a, he's a, a match day announcer. They got it spot on. Yeah. He always defers to Al, so it's Al yeah, that's the voice fair, of yeah, new signings. He that's never. Not, we he don't never, care anyway. We're not bothered about him. He's on his holiday. I think it's a mean. I mean, being in French, I think it's a mean Bassi. He's gone online. Google where mine if you want. He's gone online and told you his name. I'm. I mean, Bassi. There you go. There we go. You see, Al, you're the fountain of knowledge when it comes to new players' names. Yeah, yeah. One thing I will say though, Josh, and that at the at the risk. At the risk of getting lo- loads of upsetting comments, I, w- I want to try and be a bit balanced. That although I've said what I've said about the board, they couldn't really win, you know, because oh, there's going to be a fire sale, we're going to sell all our some of our best players. They haven't, they, they didn't sell anybody, so we didn't we didn't lose anybody from the first team, Toby Sabic about in, in, in my personal view. Um, but uh, that, that that's not you know, that's not good enough, and the reason you know, the reason that people give for them. Not so, because they've been rubbish this season. Who would want to buy them? So they can't win one way or other. Either, you know, either they sell them or they don't sell them. Whichever way, they can't win. No, um, no. Nobody's going to want to. They'll not sign anybody. Nobody will, will not sign anybody. Nobody will want to come. Nobody will want to come. They have. Well, they're not what we want, and that's where I think. They're not particularly what we need. Maybe it's what it'll help. So, in fact, you know, it's, it's hard to be fair. But in fairness, the only Andy, them, they the only can't win. The, the frustration about, yeah. and the anger of fans, uh, or, or uh, quite a good number of fans, against the board means whatever they do, they'll be critical. They can't win. So I hope that they've got this right. But they ain't, you know, they, they ain't going to win. So that's that's my best attempt to try and be fair and balanced. I think I'm not sure if, it's that good, but I've tried. No, I think you make a, a good point there because if you think about sort of as issues in a way, we've got Gomez and Matty Wolf now who can playing that sort of holding role and you can rotate maybe between them two. And then it prob- we probably do maybe need someone that can then link us going forward, which if one of these two proves to be that, then it's only, um, hopefully, we can become a little bit more clinical in front in front of goal. This is my, this is me fall, fall into the trap of being Joe right now, of looking at the positives on absolutely everything. Um, it's, this is what happens to you when you present this show, apparently. Um, I think they could, I can sort of see a reasoning behind it, but I do agree that we've not got the players. We sort of, I don't think we've got the players that fans want, wanted in a way. And I think they've gone kind of against the grain with that. Would we agree? Yeah, yeah. I think you're about, I don't think there's much, <clears throat> as far as this transfer, the ins and outs of this transfer window goes, it's like it, we're going to be hard pushed to talk about a lot of it because there's not a lot going off. So you can't really disagree, you know what I mean? Because it's a bit meh, isn't it? A bit mm. underwhelming. So it's like, yeah, yeah, really. We could say, speculate out or say out, oh, really. We've pretty much said, I think, what there is to be said. Um, I didn't want Sibic to go either. I liked him. I will go to when he went. Uh, the two new signings. 
underwhelming, but got to get behind them, got to give them a chance. End of the day, that's the way to play for us, and that's what the, that's what we need to make sure that they do. Um, the rest of it is just is what it is. It's good what I've seen today, though, on the uh, club website, and um, I follow that, is uh, Helix interview. Yes. The, they were talking. I mean, I thought Helix were going to go this transfer window, and I wanted to blame him if he, if he did go, but he said he'd talk, talk to his, uh, his, his agent and uh, wanted to stay at Barnsley Football Club as we gave him first chance in English football. So he's committed to us, and he's, uh, that, that, that's a positive out at window for me. Of course. Yeah, he's, he's another, good, another good player. Another rated player for me. Glad we glad we kept him. Glad we kept the players that we have. I just wish we'd have kept Zibic. You know, mm. I'm glad for the, the ones that are staying. The, you know, they haven't all jumped ship. It's just that it's a little bit underwhelming what we've got going on. I think as a whole, not just a transfer window. Yeah, I think when we we can focus a little bit more on out on outgoings now. So we've had Alare which seems to have caused a bit of a stir, which seems like it's on a six plus six plus plus six, an 18-month loan in total with uh, Schumitz, R.W.D. Mollenbeck. Mollenbeck, that's the one, that's, you've got it. R.W.D. Oh. Mollenbeck, correct. See, I've been learning from you, I've been learning. I assume that's in their favour if they want to keep him for that amount of time. Is uh, Will we, well... Six months then. Yeah. I can't see it. I'm not holding my referee. It's been 18 months. No. Would, would you sign a player who's not played, who's got back injury and, and he's always injured? And I don't know. It's a strange one that to, to move him on. Yeah. I mean, we don't need him at Oakwell because he's a, accordingly, he's one of his highest paid earners. Uh, and I would be if I was sat on my backside most of the time. I think um, it has caused a lot of backlash um, mm. as Obi Lare, I think. And anyway, but it's take we we've actively tried to get rid of him, um, or loan him out, or find a solution to this issue for the whole window, and it's taken again until the last day to actually get um, to find a move for him. How do you feel about the the sort of break breakdown of the deal, Andy, with it being like a six plus six plus six option? <coughs> Is it harsh to say I don't actually care? I really don't yeah, care. I know. Um, yeah. We got, you know, we, we had Daryl DK in, who, who were a punt. Let's be right, he were a punt. And it worked out brilliantly because we're a player. Worked out brilliantly. And I'm sorry that he's currently injured. So, you know, there's that. This guy was brought in, in, in my in my head, whether it's real or not, um, as his replacement. Big, strong lad, good in the yeah. air, physical, mm. all that as his replacement. A bit of a punt because he got some issues with... Um, you know, with injuries over the, over, over the few seasons. But it, it were a no-brainer, we were told. It were a no-brainer because his quality. I've absolutely, you know, all this time he's been with us, I've absolutely no idea if he's got quality. No. I've only seen him for, well, I don't know, 27 minutes, 20 minutes, 18 yeah. minutes. Not see, not see. I saw, I saw, the, the one I did see him when we were away, when it, his first bit when he came on, I thought, wherever it were, about 10 or 15 minutes, it actually looked all right. When we saw him at home and... Oh dear me, oh dear me. So it, it's it, it, it's a real shame, and it, I suppose the real difficulty for me is that it's at the last minute that that he's gone. So it makes no difference to the the first team squad because he's not been playing, and didn't look as though he were ever going to play by, by the look of it. But the wage that he was on uh, in going could have freed up to get a replacement strike, you know, a replacement for the replacement for for Daryl DK. Because we needed it, we needed it. So that, so in that respect, we're weaker. That you know, we, we've lost a striker that, well, the well, that, that that we've not played. I mean, my 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 greatest wish, and I'll, I'll be Joe for a minute. My greatest wish is that it pulls up so many trees and scores bagfuls that in six months it's that when we're in League wow. One, let's say, he's back and he's the man that's going to fire us to promotion. Yeah. And, and that's me being Joe. Me being me is. I'm glad he's gone. He, he, it's it pointless. No Him being here was pointless. So, you know, off you go, love. It goes down in, in, in history books at Oakwell as uh, Frimpong, Mido, and Alare. And it? Gridlet. And that's the one. <laughs> that's so there you, go. there you go, Josh. Yeah, whatever. Not bothered. <laughs> it's the no show. I don't want to be, 
I don't want to be too awful about a, a, a human being. Well, I, I don't know if he's still been injured, but I don't understand why, why the, the you know the, the club would want you know the other club would want him Mullen, Mullenbeek, Alan, isn't it? Mullenbeek. Mm-hmm. Why why they would why would they want a player that's just going to be watching them play as opposed to watching us play? Uh, I hope we're not paying any of his flipping wages. I know that if they if they want him, they should pay pay all his. I'm assuming they're paying all his wages because if they're not, then it's um. It's even worse than I would think. So I don't know. I can't. Off you go, I, I can't imagine there would be, given that it's a last-minute deal. So, in just in my opinion and my head, if it's a last-minute deal and we've just tried to get recuperate some sort of money from him, so I imagine we'll still be contributing. If, oh, yeah. don't say that. Don't, don't yeah, say that. So I'm, sure, upset I'm me. sure. I might be wrong. <clears throat> you can quote me if I'm wrong, but we do have to I think we do contribute to loan payers' wages. I think you do as a clubber. It might be 50 50, 60 40. I don't know how it works. I hope but it's yeah. three and six because that's about <laughs> what it's worth. I'll, I'll, ex, I'll explain what three and six is after, after the show. Half a crown, Andy, half a crown. <laughs> yeah. I'll explain later, Josh. Yeah. Anyway. Above my head, I fit, I fit, I actually do fit, feel like Joe. I've had a bit of positivity from nowhere. And now, and now you're saying references that. I don't understand this. It must be. You wouldn't even know where a Thripney Bitter is either, would you? No, you know, sounds, do you know, sounds Alan, like an Italian dish to me. That different era, Alan. Different era, mate. I try I've got a couple that. of quotes if you if you like from a, a go for of, it. One from somebody on, on 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 our on our last YouTube show, and one from um, one from one of our supporters, Mike. Mike says this is about the transfer window. I'm very disappointed. We nearly missed the boat with Keen Iron getting Obi moved on. Um, they, they, which is on the board, had 30 days and produced nothing that shows a drive to stay up. These two lads are probably good with the ball, but can they be in a team that needs drive but has yeah. no engine? Um, an engine to steer the team around. Time will tell. With this, but sadly, it's the spare time that we don't have. We need a fight. This club needs a purpose, and currently the purpose seems to be floundering. Uh, around the shore like a dying fish. And then Josh, another Josh, Josh G this time, but not, not you. So Josh G said, two new signings, two attacking midfielders. Hope they do well. However, we needed a proper central or defensive midfielder to get a core in midfield. We saw some missed opportunities on deadline day for me. So that, that's how he feels. Although he does finish off by saying against Cardiff, he thinks we might win. Ooh. So a bit a touch positive at the end from Josh. And that's another person down for a zero then this week. That's another one you can quickly just strike strike off as a zero in my eyes. You're a bad man, Josh. A bad man. So in well, we like to give everything a, a rating or a prediction in something. Al, what would you rate this transfer window out of ten? <laughs> I'll get one. Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Andy. I've not seen them. I, I, I don't want, I've not seen these lads. I, I mean, two. So I'm disappointed because I, I, I mean, I don't know what these lads are going to bring to the table, to be honest. And, you know, as people said they could be good players. Uh, is it what we need? I, I think it probably is what we need going forward if, if they've got what the drive that we need to go forward and like I said, get, you know, get in front of the attackers and, and link up play. They could be really exciting. I, I don't know if they will be or not. And it, it, they're starting off, they're starting off in a bad situation. So that, that doesn't help them and, and doesn't help us. So it, it's it's no reflection on those two at all. Because I hope you know, I hope they become really good and uh, at least you know are, are up for the fight and show us what they can do. But that, that it's a two because of everything that I've said already. Just wait while uh, they change them and make them into an undermark and make them as a central defender. I'm look, them lads will be looking forward to join our club. Go on, I wish, they, I wish they'd play with the centre. <laughs> I wish Undermar could play there. I wish he'd actually play there. So they say we turn him into one. I, I saw him play. I can't remember which, one of away matches, Alan. He had to fit in there for, for whatever. And he went, man at match. You were absolutely outstanding. And yet he still just sat down watching. Not good enough. Whoever, oh, whoever, whoever's picking, it's not good enough. I'm going to. Two out of ten. Very underwhelming. Tumbleweed stuff. Just purely because I want to give these lads a chance. It's not their fault. Yeah. I, feel, I do feel for them. It's absolutely not their fault at all. So, yeah, two out of ten. What can I say? Underwhelmed. 
I think that's a fair assessment, to be honest, especially caveating it all with the fact that it's not that we don't want these players. It's just no. that it's not that it's just not what us as fans see as the issue at the minute. Um, and it's no disrespect to the two new lads coming in. It's just that there's other areas of the pitch which I think we definitely should have prioritised of this window, to be honest. And I think that's I think that's been the biggest issue um, throughout January, especially. And then you couple that that in with the fact that it's taken us till the 31st of January, and there were what when when we recorded yesterday, there were five hours left, and neither yeah. had even been announced yet. In everything were too slow and besides transfer had been rumoured for a week or so before then and it still took us the full week to get that sorted out which given the visa issues we had last time you'd think that we'd be trying to be a, bit, a little bit more proactive there to get that sort, sorted out a week before so then maybe it could be available for Cardiff and things like that so I think it is it's, there's a lot of missed opportunities this window for me and I think I'd be, I think I'm going to go same as you lot with a two, mm. apart from Al, who's Except Al, mm. miserable Al, miserable Al. Say what you see, say anyway. On to one of the other lads who, who's gone out, Ben Williams. He made his debut on Saturday. Good lad. He went went up nearly up to ninety minutes and got sent off. <laughs> yeah. What a debut! <laughs> He has got. He had, he did have that in his locker though, didn't he? I remember yeah. that tackle he did at Wigan that was well, about five minutes late, and he flattened lad. You do. I, I do miss him though. Doing that, he added a bit of excitement to his game at least. Even if we weren't, weren't playing well, there were always a opportunity that he might just go flying into someone at some point. Because... <laughs> bit of wrecking legs or bloodshed. Wait, yeah. Not WWE. Just, get, <laughs> just gets fans back in what, a bit, doesn't it? Tomorrow, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, I'll, I'll be shouting Domingos's name when he comes on with twenty minutes to go and scores the two goals to be to, to win it to, for, for us to win two one, and I get my prediction right. I'll be shouting his name when he does that. I'm going to put a quid on him to score a quid. Oh, do you see when I go in there? How much? How much? <laughs> go fifty pence, style. Don't don't get giddy. Don't get giddy because it's transfer window. Don't, don't start giddy. trying to promote ga- gambling now. Joe's gone. Oh, no, yeah. we can't, we can't don't do don't show, start promoting can't. gambling. It's a family show. You're gonna be. You're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna have some messages from from him now because of this. <laughs> Keeping you two in line for these two weeks. He's only just start, started, and we're already. Oh, we're I'm gonna already say he's already flown. He's not, it probably what we're time he's not even landed yet. He's probably just flown over Ireland. <laughs> Bet- I can hear a message for Joe if you country. like. I'll give you a message for Joe if you like. Exactly. <laughs> we got any more transfer business? Any more thoughts and feelings when I get off his chest? <laughs> yeah. He's it? really pushing this out here, Josh. <laughs> he's really pulling from what he's nothing. Yep. It's my journey. What about our subscribers and viewers, Josh? Come on. Well, I'll on. wrap it I'll oh, wrap it up. to if, remind you, you should be first off. No, if we're on. all done, I don't want to just, I don't want to mute your voices. I want to champion them. Unlike Joe, who spends all his days saying like and subscribe and thanking everybody and muting, m- muting. Look, it's time to wrap health. it up, Josh. I'm waiting to get onto Sky and watch uh, Toby Civic on Sky, Ibs versus Hearts. Mm. Big, Scottish, yeah. Big Scottish game there. So, as always, massive thank you to his patron supporters and business partners. Without you... This show wouldn't be able to. It wouldn't. It, it won't be what what it is. It'd just be Andy and Al moaning to each other, and you won't yeah. be able to see it yourselves. From the top at Muppets. Yes, exactly yeah. that, Jane. Couldn't have described it any better myself. Yes, like the top at Muppets. That's not it to her. Yep. You can yep. see a return coming yeah. out. A return will be coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see Kermit the Frog or Miss Piggy making oh, a note. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Go on, Al. Right. Go on. Right. Right, that's it. Let's wrap this up now. Let's wrap it up before before we end up with some comments going on. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to find line of gambling already. So, as always, Reds, thank you for your support um, to his patrons and to his business partners. And we'll be back with a Cardiff reaction and a Huddersfield preview later on in the week. So keep your eyes out for that. And as much as it's been an un- underwhelming window, we just need to get to, to get behind these new lads and hopefully they can yeah. spark something in this side. And who knows, we might we might go we might finish above Derby. We've had a 21-point <laughs> deduction. We might 
And there, there, there we say it, we might get out of this relegation scrap. Oh. Still in the championship. What, the great escape 2022 is on? The greatest of the great escapes. It could. It, it, it all starts because Joe's out at country now, so it all starts here. You said it the other day, Al. It all starts here. We'll catch you later on it, week, Reds. New Reds. <laughs>